In this problem, you see that we are given an automobile that is originally at rest. And as if its speed is increased by the acceleration that is 0 0.05 t square feet per second square where t is in seconds. So we have to find the magnitude of its velocity and acceleration where the time is about 18 seconds. Okay, so as we know that, that our car is initially at rest. So, and uh, acceleration is about 0 0.05 t square. So, to find its velocity, so we have to integrate it. So, when we integrate it, so we get the change in velocity. So, the velocity is from 0 to v, while the time is from 0 to t. So if we integrate it, so we get V and you see that we get T3 over 3. And so if we divide this by 3, so we get 0 0.0167 T3. And as we know that uh, T is basically 18 seconds, so we can put it here. So we get 0 0.0167 multiply 18 raised to the power 3 so we get 97.2 feet per second and for acceleration as we have a curve so uh, basically if we put time in the acceleration term so we get a tangential acceleration that is 16.2 feet per second square while as we know that in the curve we have also uh, we have to also find a normal acceleration that is directed towards the center of the curve. And uh, normal acceleration is basically is equal to the uh, velocity squared over the radius of the curve. So here the radius of curve is about 240 feet. And velocity is about 97.2 as both values are given in the unit feet. So Simply, we have to divide these two terms to get a normal acceleration that is 39.37 feet per second square. So, to find the acceleration, so we can take the magnitude of the tangential acceleration and normal acceleration, so we get acceleration that is 42.6 feet per second square.